Welcome everyone. Today I'm going to do a uh, intermediate tutorial in Eagle CAD showing you how to make small edits and modifications to uh, components and to libraries themselves. So this is something that has come up a lot in my work and will probably come up in your work as well if you spend much time kind of designing your own things in Eagle. And um, the thing is a lot of times um, you know, electronic components are very specialized and um, their applications are, are very specialized as well. And sometimes you want to have information such as labels for all the pins and, uh, you know, nice boxes around your, uh, your headers and that sort of stuff. And sometimes you don't. Sometimes you want a cleaner. Sometimes you want that space for other things. And uh, um, for example here, so let's say I'm, I'm creating an Arduino shield. So I go in here in my Arduino shield and, you know, I just use this basic, um, you know, R3 shield. I make all of my connections. I add, you know, all these headers for solenoids and a bunch of resistors and capacitors and transistors, and I really pimp out this board um, to the point that once I um, start working on actually laying out the board, um, I notice that I really don't want to have all these labels on there. I really don't want to have this box right here telling me that there's a header underneath that I never use. I don't want to have these boxes around here. Um, but I can't go in and, and just delete those. I can delete the entire component, um, but I'm not able to delete a part of it because it's all connected and it's treated as a component. Um, I can't go in and rip it up and then delete it. Um, I can't smash it and then delete it. None of, all these operations are invalid. Um, so I'm screwed. There's nothing I can do. I just have to go back online and, you know, search for another one that doesn't have that on there. Well, not really. You can actually go in and, and modify this library and adapt it to make it your own and customize it. So the way we do that, <coughs> oh, excuse me, is we actually go into library and we go into open. Now this allows us, um, as opposed to use, which basically makes a library available to Eagle, Open actually goes in and opens up um, the library itself. Um, and this is found actually within um, Eagle, which is in your applications. And there's a folder called LBR, which holds all of your libraries. And um, they may just be kind of laid out there um, by themselves and not organized in folders, or they may be organized in folders sort of like I have here. So I have a personal folder which doesn't have anything in it right now, and uh, you know a few other libraries from other places. Now one, one word of concern though um, is that it gets really easy for this to get ridiculous. And this is already kind of a little bit hard to manage. Um, you know, there's Spark Fun, which has its own versions of a lot of different things in it. Plus, there's all these other folders that have names for those different thing, those different components and whatever. So just be mindful and, and um, you know, get rid of old libraries if you don't use them and whatever. I don't know. Um, it gets e It's easy for it to get unmanageable. But we're going to go into Spark Fun here because we use the Spark Fun uh, boards library. And we're going to open that library. And this brings up our device, our package, and our symbol. Now the symbol is what shows up on the schematic uh, view of your um, your project. So that's what shows that you uh, make the actual electrical connections to and uh, do everything for schematic view. Um, the package is what shows up on the board view. Um, so that's the actual, you know, it's like a DIP package or through-hole package, right? Uh, so that's sort of where that comes from. Uh, that's where the package. And the device is basically the, the interlinking side of it. So the device is, is a more meta, you know, item. So the, there's like a Arduino R3 shield, for instance. And within that large section, there's a few subsections. Um, and so sort of a bigger category and also it, it manages all the actual uh, connections between the package and the symbol and the linkage there. Um, so that's sort of what tells Eagle that, hey, this thing that's connected in your schematic view, that should also be connected in the board view. That's all handled in the device. <clears throat> so we'll open up the shield we were working on, which is just a super basic Uno R3 shield. And uh, we're going to open up uh, the package here because we're concerned about how it shows up in the board view. All right, so here we have it in the uh, package view. And this looks basically just like the component, um, like you were laying out a board. But this actually gives you editing access to everything here. So um, you can use this view 
um, to delete all these extra ugly lines that we don't really need because um, we have all of our polarization taken care of by these nips up here. We can delete uh, these useless uh, bits of information that shows us that those uh, ICSP headers are underneath, which we don't really care about. We know that. We're not using it for this project. And then um, <clears throat> let's say, for instance, we also don't really need to know that these are analog in. So we don't really care about uh, the uh, the pin numbers here. Oops. So and uh, all that. So one thing that this will not let us do um, is actually delete the individual pins themselves. That's actually taken care of um, as as sort of mentioned earlier in the devices uh, view, which deals with the with, with the connections between the schematic view and the board view. And basically, you have to. Uh, sever that link um, or you have to delete it in the schematic view in order to um, to delete it in this view um, otherwise it's going to kind of throw an error and be like hey but the schematic view says this thing is supposed to exist and you're trying to delete it right now which is what happened right there oops can't delete it because it's connected to a pin exactly so if it's connected it won't let you delete it which is nice because then you it, <laughs> you know keeps you on track all right, so there we go. So there's our super minimal outline for the Arduino Uno Shield. Exactly what we wanted. Um, and what we can do now is we can go and we can um, <clears throat> save as. And this allows us to save our own version of SparkFun boards. So we can uh, we'll go back up the library. We'll go into uh, my personal folder here. And we will call it Nathan's Boards. Bam. Now this actually made a copy of all the SparkFun boards. Um, everything that, that even wasn't modified. But I find this is sort of a nice way to work. Um, because it leaves kind of like a backup of all the original versions you can go back to. Um, and um, yeah, and whatnot. So that pretty much is... Yeah, the general workflow there. Um, now, uh, that's definitely not all of it, not everything that you can do. Um, in later videos, I'll, I'll plan on covering um, how to actually go about adding headers, removing headers, how to actually go about that aspect of it, um, as well as how to just save it as a, a kind of new component within, um, within the current library without copying the whole library itself. Um, but yeah, I hope you I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it helped you out. Um, and yeah, just um, leave any comments if you have any questions. All right, thank you.